User information is a way to personalize your copy of files you create Microsoft Office programs with your name and initials. And notice how I said Microsoft Office, not Microsoft Word. And I'll explain that by going backstage in Word, clicking on the File tab, down to Options, General selected by default. Just come down below where it says Personalize your copy of Microsoft Office. Now it says Office and it doesn't say Word because what you type in here will be updated in all the other Office programs like PowerPoint Access, Excel, and the reason being is because when it comes to making changes to your documents, modifications, or inserting comments, things like that, well, when you're collaborating with other people, isn't it nice to know who's doing it? Well, that's the whole purpose here. So you can make it easier to go, oh, you're the one who made the change, Kurt Kershaw, and the initials. So if you haven't updated this yet, I recommend that you do that unless you want to remain anonymous. In any case, go ahead and type that in, and when you do that, it'll update every Tingman. So let's go ahead and do this. Let me change it to SLARTB with the initials SB, and then click Okie Dokie, and then go backstage, click on File, and Info selected by default, and notice down below where it says Last Modified By. Okay, so I updated the username, but I haven't modified it yet, so when I click back and I make some modifications under the pseudoname of SLARTB, I'm just going to delete the exclamation point, a simple modification. And when I click Save, let's go backstage to check on it. It still says it's Kurt Kershaw. And the reason being because it doesn't refresh itself until you close out of it and open it back up. So let's close out of our document. It's there on the desktop. Let me double click to open it back up. Go backstage, File. Hey, now it's updated with Slarty B. That's great. In fact, while I'm here, or focused on the username and initials, just the username here. Let's open up another Office program, Excel. It's pinned down to my taskbar. Let me click on it to open it up. To show you that what you do in one with the user information, it will update in all the others. So let's go backstage, File, down to Options, General selected by default, down below to personalize your copy, it's Slarty B. Of course, it doesn't have any initials, but the initials are more for PowerPoint and Word. So when you add comments for reviews and things like that, more so for adding comments. So you can have your initials when you add comments, KK, or in this case, SB for Slarty B. And so if I go ahead and update it here, Kurt Kershaw, and click Okie Dokie, and then close out of Excel. You don't have to click Save. And then I come back here and go down to Options. And there's Kurt Kershaw, but of course, it's still SB. So as far as PowerPoint and Word goes, when they want your initials, well, let's go ahead and make the change in one, and it'll update the other. And then go ahead and click Okie Dokie. Cool. And so, for example, one more. When I come up here and click on the Review tab, and I want to insert a new comment, click on it. It's got my name. Isn't that cool? In any case, we'll talk about that in another training video. But I wanted to show you how important it is that when you do things like adding comments or making changes, hey, who's doing all this? Well, now you know. And where is it coming from? The Personalize Your Copy of Microsoft Office section. That can be set, of course, backstage. So let me go ahead and click off. And you'll see this come more into play in later training videos, this feature. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.